Today we are back in Mount Dora and just a stone's throw from the Taco Bell that we previously went to. Um, we're actually by the Target, but we're gonna go do Panda Express, Chinese Kitchen. This is a chain restaurant. However, we have found it extremely tough to find like a good Chinese restaurant in Florida since we moved. Just our taste. Yeah, and this one we had back in Missouri and have tried it 100 million times and know that it's consistent with kind of the Chinese that we like. So this one looks really nice. We have been here one time, but it looks like maybe they just remodeled something. It looks- well, I think we came here late at night. Oh, maybe that's it. But that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna show you Panda Express. It's about to get a little awkward in here. It looks like it's pretty full and it's a order at the counter type of place. And the menu's up at the front, so I'm gonna do my best. We'll see what happens. Let's go check it out. Right there is Target. If we pan this way, Panda Express. Looks really nice. Maybe it was just because it was dark when we came last time, but it does look fresh. There is a drive through here, just so you know. And we're gonna head on in. It says their hours are uh, Monday through Thursday, 11 to nine, drive through till 9.30. Friday, Saturday, 11 to nine, drive through till 9.30. Sunday, 11 to eight, drive through till 8.30. And we're gonna come stand in line right here. Maybe I can show you the menu. And then overall, this is what it looks like on the inside. Restrooms are over there. And here's the ceiling. Here's a look at the menu. So the way it works is you pick a meal, either bowl, which is one entree, one side, plate, which is two entrees, one side, or bigger plate, which is three entrees and one side. There's a kid's meal, a family feast. There's the entree choices, side choices, a la carte boxes, more choices and drinks. So you order at the counter and you walk through and tell them what you want and you pay at the end. We normally get the orange chicken, the, what do you like, sweet fire, I think? Sweet fire chicken breast. And um, we usually do the bigger plate. So then another option is the um, cream cheese rangoons. We like those a lot. And then sometimes we get a third choice, maybe like the grilled chicken teriyaki. So I think we'll do that orange chicken, sweet fire chicken breast, grilled teriyaki chicken, and then white rice, cream cheese rangoons, and a drink. You can see this is what the food looks like. Now, they are famous for their orange chicken. A lot of, a lot of people, I think right now, the bowl of orange chicken's actually out over there, so they'll be replacing that soon. You see the orange chicken currently is out, but they will be loading it up, and then some more options down here at the end. All right, we're gonna sit right here. After you pay, they give you everything on your tray. Um, I'm gonna go show you the drink options. It is very busy in here. They are they are busy, but over here we have the drink options. So they do have just your normal drinks. And then right here, they've got this passion fruit mango tea and sweet tea. So we like um, mixing both of those. So I'm gonna do that now. And then over here, you grab like your utensils and stuff. So just looking at the receipt, it was $16.05. I don't think that's bad at all, considering this meal's for both of us. So pretty cheap option. Here is a look at the three entrees. So we've got the white rice, orange chicken, teriyaki chicken, and the sweet, what is it again? The sweet, sweet, fire. sweet fire chicken, which you love a lot. And here if we show you, we show you the cream cheese rangoons. You get what, three of them? Yeah. And then they also give you portion cookie, and we got our sweet and sour sauce. Now one thing that I was impressed with is like the orange chicken and the Rangoons were down to like the final. He actually brought in a new um, bowl for the orange chicken and the Rangoons and uh, gave us some from the new bowl, which was really cool. So I appreciated that. I didn't even ask, he just did it. So that's awesome that they do that. Sorry if it's a little loud, but we'll start with orange. That's good. I mean, that's what they're known for, their orange chicken. Next, we'll try the sweet fire chicken. That's very good. It is slightly spicy. Got some heat to it. Oh, she just found pineapple hidden in there. Um, 
I will say, I think more than anything, we like this because of the consistency with the chicken. That's kind of what we're used to back in Missouri. And every time we eat here, it's the same consistency. Lastly, we'll try the grilled teriyaki chicken right here. Oh, blocked my face. And that's tasty. That's a lot like the, kind of like the bourbon chicken that you can get at places. Um, but they actually cut up the chicken in front of you. It's like a piece of chicken, chicken breast, and then they cut it. So everything's good. Um, maybe just the rice by itself here. Regular white, white rice. I'm gonna eat a little bit of this, then we'll try the cream cheese ringoons. Here's what their sweet and sour sauce looks like. So we're gonna give the ringoons a try. Here's a look at the middle, dip it in some sauce. I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well, it's pretty loud in here. And I don't wanna like yell. Yeah, that's good. I remember every time I come, since they're not crab ringoons, they're a little different. Um, they're still good. I have had better ones before, but they're always consistent and very, I mean, they're tasty. So that's why, that's, ooh, that's why we get them every time. Also, the fruit, fruity tea that we got is unsweet. So that's why we get sweet with it. Cause mixed together, it's really good by itself. It'd be kind of, unless you like just unsweet tea, a little, little strong. You are digging into the fortune cookie. You say you do it right. I've never really done it. I just open it and read the fortune, then eat the cookie. You say that's a no-no. So someone in my sorority told me. You know. eat you eat the cookie first and then read the fortune. So did you swallow it? Oh, all right. I guess I'll open mine now. I'm gonna do a bite of this. Mmm. Those are very good. Also, there's one, two, three, four, five, six groups in line right now. So, very popular tonight. Here is Timbers. Your gratitude will become your biggest ally this week. Ooh. What's your lucky numbers? Not None. Really. You have no lucky numbers. Mine, you will be released from the burden of your past. He's weighing you down? I guess so, and my lucky numbers up none. I will say at least those are fortunes. Sometimes you get them and they just like say two plus two is four. And you're like, what the heck, that's not a fortune. What's nice is they make it easy to throw your stuff away. So that's good, and then you put the trays just like right here. All right, now we're heading back outside where it has turned slightly dark out. That was a very busy location. All right, that was our trip out to Panda Express Chinese Kitchen here in Mount Dora, 16 bucks, I'm full. Yeah. With the fortune cookies, you kind of get a dessert. Very busy location, very busy. It is busy, um, at least tonight. Yeah, and it was good. I really don't have any complaints. The workers were great, they were going as hard as they could. I, I, have, no, I have no complaints. Mm -hmm. It's a good fast, fast food option. Um, doesn't really take long, cheap. There is a drive-through. I don't know if they have a mobile app, I saw something about rewards though in there, I think. So probably, I mean, in this like, day and age. almost everybody has some sort of reward system. But other than that, it was good. I will say, I think while we're transitioning to this through this move, probably during the week is going to be like more cheaper options slash faster options, and then the weekend might be more of our like sit down, more expensive, full, yeah, full meal. meal, as well as places to go and see. It's kind of hard because there's not a lot of places open by the time you know we get off work, eat, so we can't really film those things during the week. However, stay tuned because about a month, it'll be different. So anyway, I think that does it for tonight. It looks like it's about ready to pour it down rain. Good for night. Bad, yeah. It looks like it is raining over oh. there. Well, we'll see. That being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.